Welcome to the nurse's station. We all know at the nurse's station there are hidden snacks to keep hunger at bay, coffee and tea to keep you stimulated, and shared tips and tricks of nursing. At the nurse's station, I'll answer questions and concerns of future nurses and how you can navigate through microbiology. All too often, I see pre-nursing students ask whether they should take anatomy and microbiology in the same semester, or they ask if it will be difficult for them if they take the two together. Well, the short answer to this question is yes and no. Oh, I'm not trying to be coy with you. I know it wasn't the answer that you were looking for. You want a definitive answer. Well, you won't get it here because the answer truly is yes and no. Will taking the two classes be difficult? Yes. Both classes have jam-packed material that you'll have to remember, just like any other class. Should you take anatomy and microbiology in the same semester? The answer is up to you. Evaluate your personal life, work life, and school load. Will you be able to balance all of that and still keep your sanity? Well, you cannot get the answer from someone else. What I can offer is this advice if you do decide to take two or more challenging classes in one semester, and that is to plan and strategize your study sessions. I'm helping Mr. to take or not to take with planning his week. If you are someone who finds it difficult to plan and sticks to that plan, then you'll need a pencil and some paper to take some notes. I want, I need you to take action on the notes that you take today. Planning. Number one, choose a day that you will plan out your week. This will be a day that you will set aside to plan. No distractions allowed, so put away all of your smart devices. No interruptions allowed. Get somewhere by yourself. Now try a coffee shop, maybe a park, or okay, let's get drastic here, even your closet. Number two, create your golden list. Your list will consist of tasks that you'll need to accomplish during this week. Work, classes, family errands, plus time with your family, um, time with friends, personal time, study time, etc. Then you will block out those times by using a Google Calendar or a regular calendar or a weekly planner. Now you have a set time for the week of when you will study, but what will you do within that block of time? Strategy number one, know what type of learner you are. When you know what type of learner you are, then you are able to gather the necessary tools to help you to understand, retain, and remember the material. Answer this question in the comments below. Are you a visual, auditory, or kinesthetic learner? When you pinpoint your learning style, you are able to then gather your study tools. Two, what will these study tools look like? For visual learners, study tools are videos, graphs, charts, the use of colors and pictures. Auditory learners study tools are like podcasts, lectures, and videos. Kinesthetic learners study tools can be labs and physical activity. Three, during your designated planning day, you'll search for the tools that align with your learning style. Now you're all set with planning and strategizing your study sessions. Can you relate to Mr. To Take or Not To Take? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for joining me at the nurse's station. If you are one who needs help planning and strategizing your microbiology class, then consider joining me in the Microbiology Study Academy, where I plan out your custom study strategy. I provide your custom golden list of study videos, provide practice foundation questions and answers. I show you study methods that will help you retain and remember the material and we meet up weekly in the private microbiology study academy facebook group for tutoring sessions this is rochelle your microbiology study strategist signing out